All right, so you're going to launch the DJI MIMO application. All right, once it launches, it should load. It'll ask you to connect to the camera. It's the Osmos Action 5 Me. That's what I named my camera. I'm going to select Join. Uh, once you select Join, it should connect after 5 to 10 seconds, sometimes sooner, depending on how the camera is feeling. And then, as you can see, we're here. And to know if we're connected, you just select it. And as you can see, there's a live feed of the camera. We're going to select the top right hand uh, home button right there. And then we're going to go to profile. OK, device management. See Osmos Action 5 Me or whichever camera you're trying to update. And you can view care refresh. And this is how you would change your name right there. Uh, selecting that uh, just in case you have more than one camera. OK, and then we'll go here and then you'll go to um, about. OK, and right here, check for latest uh, app version that uh, you can do that and it brings you to the store but to update the firmware we'll just click there on check for firmware. see new firmware updates available so then we'll go back and most likely it's downloading it in the background and then we'll select uh, profile again okay right here see it's a little bit glitchy I'm pressing it but it's not going. All right, so there we go. Device management. And then select your device. See? And now you can see it says update, which wasn't there before. And now we'll just select update. Uh, we'll select download. Download new firmware automatically when connected. And as you can see, we're going to use the mobile network because um, the phone is connected via Wi-Fi to the camera. So you can't, it's only one connection at a time, okay? So make sure you have enough bars. As you can see, I have two, which is okay, but it's going to take much longer, all right? Mobile, downloading firmware, and um, most likely when it reaches about 30%, it should, um, the install button will become available. So as you can see, at 50%, the install becomes available. And if you want to read what features will be available, just scroll through it and click Install. And when it's done, the Done button will be highlighted. And it's done. The Done button's highlighted. You can select Done and enjoy all the new features that's in your latest firmware update. Then you can connect back to the camera. And if it doesn't join, make sure the camera is turned on. If you're in another room and on your camera, you should see a screen that says updated. So you should see that screen updated and you decide which features you want to use moving forward. Uh, for me, I'll just select charging only. Um, and then once it's updated, select updated back to live view. And then it's going to prompt you. Sometimes it'll prompt you about which features to use, but everything's back to normal. And now we're running the latest firmware. If you go to settings and if we go scroll all the way to the bottom, device info, Osmos Action Me, uh, there it is. There's the latest firmware 1.01.05.20. And Hopefully you can enjoy whatever is being offered in the latest firmware update.